hello guys hope you are all doing good this is a next video available for visual studio getting started in this video we are all going to talk about the setting up environment for python development as you can see on my screen this is an official website for downloading visual studio you can click on download and you can see three options community pro and enterprise community is absolutely free for individuals so once you download and follow the wizard for installation you are going to see this screen basically it's a visual studio installer as we all know that visual studio support for varieties of platform including python node.js php c sharp and so much more so this will help you choose wisely what components you required for you and this will also help you to reduce the storage size and the internet bandwidth as you can see on my screen there is an option here for python development so when you choose this you will see all the components available under the that option so here you can select the python interpreter either it can be your anaconda or python 3 or 2.7 the next you have python web support this is for someone who is trying to develop websites in python basically you'll get templates in bottle flask Django, so it's really fun uh, using this component. So it's super fast. Also, they have IoT support and uh, native development tools. And they also have an option for data science and analytics. So if you select this, you will get list of all the packages. You can choose whichever is required for you. So once you're done, you can launch the Visual Studio, and this would be your launching screen. So. The first thing would you like to do is go to tools go to python select python environments so visual studio is smart enough to identify the interpreter environments available in your machine as you can see i have two environments here so the good thing about it is um, if you want your app to run on specific version you can select that particular environment for that specific project apart from this the next good thing about this is you have an option for interactive python so what interactive python does is just uh, give you a console so that you can get started with your python code let me click on open interactive window and show you let's say i'll give okay you can see it's super fast so this will help you you know if you have some piece of code and you really want to see the result you can use interactive console and get started with that so the next thing is about the packages so this is very user friendly for you to you know maintain the packages any package which you are not sure about the syntax you can just type over here it will give you the suggestions and available related searches and it's also help you to you know install and uninstall those packages for you so the next good thing about uh, visual studio is intellisense so intellisense would be taking some time in your first setup because it is going to do the indexing on every package which you have installed so when this will help is once the indexing is completed when you are started uh, when you are start writing your code it is automatically going to give you suggestions on the functions or methods available under those packages so it's a really useful one so you would appear some time for intelligence as it takes uh, some time to you know perform the indexing so that's all about uh, setting up the environment so you're good to start your project in my next video i'll uh, quickly show you how we can launch a project and start coding hope this is an informational video for you please like and subscribe my videos for more have a nice day